Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my gigolos and gigolettes. It's me, Geo. Y'all know who the fuck it is. Alrighty, it is right now. 4.25 in the a.m. <laughs> and let me get my... This, this will be funny. And right now it is 25 degrees. Feels like 19. All right, uh, yesterday afternoon. Yesterday afternoon, I uh, I got this block for the Wooddale Prime now. It was a 4 a.m. block, which worked out pretty well because I live pretty close to Wooddale. Especially at 4 a.m., I'm like, okay, I literally need all of six minutes to get there. And I think that's about what it took. So, um, yeah, I was I took my sleep aids around like 8.15 last night. I don't remember what time I passed out. Um, and the trick was this morning just making sure I have enough layers on. So I... Um, I've got extra... This is back when I used to work for Coca-Cola when I was a merchandiser. You know, I'd have to be walking in and out of stores at like five in the morning. So when it started to get frigid out, that's when I would start doing two layers of everything. So like two layers of socks, two layers of underwear. I would wear like thermals underneath my work pants. On the really cold days, I'd wear two layers of thermals. I would wear a thermal underneath my t-shirt and like a hoodie and a jacket. So I've essentially, I'm, a do, I'm doing that like right now. So I don't have two layers of socks on, but I did. So I did a job last week where my feet got wet. So before I went to another job, I went to Target and bought some socks. So if it's, if it's tremendously cold, I can still, you know, put more socks on. I've got thermals on and sweatpants on on top of that. And then my jeans on top of that. And then I'm wearing a thermal, like a like a long sleeve thermal, a hoodie, the North Face jacket, and my Amazon vest. Um, and I got my gloves in here too, so some hands don't get cold. Um, because even the short amount of time that I'll be in the elements, like I haven't, like here's my itinerary, I'll show you guys. So this block is all kind of, I mean, this, oh, this neighborhood. Yeah, Logan Square area, kind of. It's seven stops, but seven stops and 45 bags. So got to make sure I do a good job of packing up the car the best I can to limit this organization um, and I guarantee there's gonna be a lot of apartments looks like half of them are apartments great um, yeah so obviously when I go in there and scan my when I go in there and scan my bags I mean, we don't get to scan our bags inside the building. So, like I said, the, the 10 minutes it's going to take me to scan everything outside. It's going to get cold. So, got to have those layers on. So, all right. Yeah. All right. That's, that's all I got for this one. Ooh. Still waking up, man. I'm not used to waking up this early. This is... um. And another thing too is um, this block is from 4 a.m. till 7. So I think I'm going to be the last one to leave here because I don't want to get stuck with more stuff. I mean, 
if I start, if I if I get my 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 cart in the next five minutes, which I don't think is going to happen, then delivery will not take long. So odds are they're going to send me right back. So I definitely I don't think I want to leave here till like five, because <laughs> then. Even if, so if, if my drop-offs take an hour, then at which point it would take me 25 something minutes to get back here, which means I would only have 35 more minutes to complete more stops if they give me more stops. And I don't wanna be eating the miles back to the prime now. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, that's all I got for this one, guys. I wanna thank y'all for watching. Everyone please, Stay safe, stay driven, stay healthy, stay classy. <sighs> stay warm, stay caffeinated. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.